hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to show you how you can make two different types of face masks since auntie rona is still around so i am going to be working with the following materials for face mask number one so now you need to grab your plate and then you trace it around the fabric if you haven't got any fabric that's fine you can use an old t-shirt your boyfriend's t-shirt your grandma's nightgown it's up to you um, and then once you've done that you need to cut out the fabric Okay, so now you need to grab your piece of fabric and then you fold it in the middle and then you fold it again now because my fabric was a bit slippery i just used some pins to hold it together um so yeah just making sure everything has equal measurements and then you grab your scissors and then you cut it in the middle and then you cut it again Once you've finished cutting the fabric, you should have four different pieces and now you need to make sure you have the outer fabric facing each other and you need to grab some pins to hold the fabric together. I would really um, recommend to buy some pins, even if you haven't got any, you can use a safety pin because it just makes it a lot easier when you're sewing the fabric and it stops it from moving. Once you've finished pinning the fabrics together, you can take it to your sewing machine. If you haven't got one, you can hand stitch this. Okay, so once you've finished sewing the fabric, you need to put the right side of the fabric facing each other. And then you grab some pins and you just pin it together. Okay, so one thing you need to remember is that you need to make sure you leave enough space for you to turn your fabric inside out. And once you're done, you need to take your, your fabric to the sewing machine and then you turn the fabric inside out because we need to hide that cutting. Guys, don't make the same mistake I made. Just make sure you leave enough space for you to be able to turn the fabric inside out without the struggle because child, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay so now you need to grab a pen or a pencil just to push out the corners just to make sure they're not looking too bulky and once you've done that you need to grab an iron to make sure seams are flat okay as you can see here i am hand stitching um the open seam that we use to turn the fabric inside out Once you're done, you need to fold the corners twice and make sure you're leaving enough space for the elastic and then you repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so I have cut out two pieces of elastic that measure 20 cm long and then I am going to use a safety pin to fit it through the channel and once you've done that you need to repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so once you've done that, you need to um, hand stitch your elastic just to secure it.
voila and we are done as you can see guys this literally doesn't even take that long to make a mask and yeah i am loving this face mask i am going to be rocking it everywhere okay so now we are making face mask number two so now you need to grab your tape measure and measure from the middle of your nose to the end of your chin and then from ear to ear and those are the only measurements that you need to make face mask number two if you haven't got a tape measure you can use a string to measure yourself using the same method okay so for the second face mask i'll be using my boyfriend's old t-shirt because you know one man's loss is another man's treasure and also i love recycling old clothes as you can see here, I am marking down my measurements. So that's 17 cm from nose to chin. And the next measurement is 26 cm from ear to ear. And once you've done that, you just need to grab a ruler so you can draw um, straight lines. Okay, so once you have finished cutting the fabric, um, you need to use the cutting to trace out the second piece. So I would suggest to use pins as it saves time and also because I am lazy and I always find ways to do things quickly. Okay, so now you need to make sure the right sides are facing each other. And once you've done that, you need to sew the pieces together. So just a quick disclaimer, please do not moisturize your hands before you start hand stitching anything. As you can see here, I am struggling. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I did it. Well, to be fair, I just didn't want to come on here with ashy hands, so yeah. As you can see here I am turning the fabric inside out and then I am going to grab my elastic and I'm just using this to measure the amount of space that I need to leave for the elastic. And then I'm just going to use some pins to hold the fabric together. Okay, so now you need to grab your elastic and your safety pin. So we are going to use it to fit it through the fabric.
so guys here's the final mask um so this was so easy to make it literally took me five minutes if i can do it you can do it thank you so much for watching and please make sure you subscribe see you next time